We're now going to make a voltaic potato pile. So instead of frogs like Luigi Galvani used, we're going to use potatoes. And in each potato, I'm going to put two metals. So I'm going to put a copper and a zinc. So my zinc are galvanized steel nails. So they're zinc coated so that they don't rust. And you can buy them at any hardware store. The copper is just thick uh, copper wire, which also can be bought at uh, hardware stores. So I'm going to put a copper and a zinc in each one. And each one of these potatoes is a cell, a single cell. And when we connect them together, we have an electrochemical battery or a voltaic potato pile. So Galvani put his two metals into a frog. This is the same thing as touching our two metals to the salt water. We're touching the two metals to potato juice. Now if I set my voltmeter up, I can measure the voltage of each potato. So this first one is 0.847 volts. 0.847. My second potato is 0.88. So 0.847 and 0.88. That together adds up to be over 1.7 volts. If I connect the zinc, the negative of one, to the copper of the other, the positive, I'll have a voltaic potato pile with two cells. So I'm connecting the copper, the copper to the zinc, and when I put my voltmeter on both cells, it should be the 0.88 plus the 0.88. So let's see how well that works. 1.74 volts. So it adds up the way it should. So if together this is 1.74, third potato here is another 0.86. So if we add 0.86 to the 1.74, we should get over 2.5 volts with three potatoes connected in series. And we're getting 2.62 volts. I'm going to do a fourth potato. And when we add another 0.7 something, we should be over 3 volts with all four potatoes connected together in series. Series means you connect a positive to the negative. And when we do that, their voltages are adding together. So with four cells in series, four potatoes, I'm getting 3.37 volts. 3.37 volts. Is that enough to light an LED? Well, I'll take my voltmeter off and I'll connect an LED and we'll see if it'll if four potatoes will light the LED. So the long one goes to the positive, which is copper. The shorter lead goes to the negative which is the zinc. I hook them up and I can see the LED glowing. So we're making an LED glow with four potato cells. Voltaic potato pile. Something else that's fun to do, but you really can't do it during this time of social distancing, is to make a voltaic people pile. Instead of poking copper and zinc into a potato, we can poke copper and zinc into people. So if I hold one zinc and one copper, I can set my voltmeter on the copper and zinc that I'm holding, and it'll give me my voltage. Just like we got the voltage of a single potato, Let's see what the voltage of a single person is. So I'm getting 0.81 volts, which means I'm just as about as much voltage as a potato. If we took several students holding the copper and the zinc rods or tubes 
and we connected them together the same way we did with the potatoes, usually it takes five or six students hooked up together to light the LED. But it can be done. It's a lot of fun. And students of all ages get a big thrill knowing that you are a battery. You are making electricity enough to light an LED. So many, many different ways to make voltaic piles, and students really love studying this. Thank you.